Good afternoon. My name is Peter James from Career Life Transitions and I'm here in beautiful Queenstown at the moment. We're doing a little bit of skiing and a little bit of uh, snowboarding uh, for the, uh, the end of uh, winter. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about a, a little formula that I use whenever I'm trying to, uh, I guess, overcome resistance from even my, my kids or from an individual all the way up to, uh, to large organisations. Formula's been around a little uh, for a little while. It's been in different guises and what have you. Salespeople probably use it in a, in a slightly different way as well. But the, the formula and the, the version that's most famous is the Danny Miller version is dissatisfaction times a vision for the future times first step must be greater than resistance. Now if you think about that all the way through, if you're dealing with an organization and putting together your communication plans, I really need to include every part of that. If you're talking to your kids, you're talking to an individual, every part of that formula needs to be balanced. It needs to be greater than the resistance you're dealing with. Now, if we have a look at that formula, if we leave the dissatisfaction, all we have is a vision of first steps, then you have people in the organization or individuals having a look at it saying, well, why should, I, why should I move? What is wrong with the current state? That might be your vision, but it's not my vision. I don't see what any of the issues are. If you have a situation where you leave out the vision for the future and you're really just saying here's what's wrong with it and you're saying here's the steps to change it, then all you sound like is you're just complaining about the current state and it doesn't give anybody any hope for what you're planning for or where they're trying to move to if they put this effort in for the change. If you leave out the last step, which is that, uh, you know, the first step to how we get there, it just sounds to people like a pipe dream. Everything is bad over this side, it's no good and what have you. Here is this wonderful vision for what the future looks like. But unless you're taking the time to explain to people how to get from this step to that step, then it, doesn't, it just doesn't pull it together. And you can't skimp and you need to have some kind of sense on the size of the resistance uh, and really put some effort into each part of that formula so that the combination of those three factors really overcomes the resistance. Salespeople might use it in terms of uh, that walk through hell, which is the uh, current dissatisfaction, that walk through heaven, which is the current future and the desired state, and uh, the steps to get through there, which usually means you know how uh, the uh, uh, the sale or what service you're offering, everything can take those steps. So it's a widely used formula. As I say, when I'm explaining to my kids, their resistance there for doing their homework and things like that is, is quite high. And I really need to focus on each stage of that to make sure that they understand as to why they need to get there and how they're going to get there and what the downside of not getting there. So if you're thinking of change and you're looking at communication around a change, anything where you're trying to move someone from an area of resistance, even if you're a supervisor, and I've certainly worked in my coaching uh, with some supervisors how to uh, delegate difficult work to their employees uh, and their reports, think of this formula. Dissatisfaction times a future vision times the first steps must be greater than the resistance. I'm Peter James from beautiful Queenstown. It's a little uh, cloudy at the moment. They're doing a little parasailing uh, practice down here, but we're having a great time. Career Life Transitions, all the best. Thank you.